Guys and gals, it's Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Instead of starting this video from the driveway, we're starting this one on the road. Gonna go uh, back out to the Chilliwack River Valley. Gonna, uh, gonna go up Chipmunk Creek FSR and uh, get in uh, on the backside of Mount Shiam. Get in as close as we can based on the snow levels and then um, find ourselves either up there or on Mount Thurston FSR. We're gonna find ourselves a nice camp spot for the night. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna pick up Gabby from her uh, overnight hiking trip and go do some paddle boarding either at Chilliwack Lake if it's not too windy or up at Foley Lake. All right, we're just gonna head up Slessy Park here onto the Chilliwack Army Forest Service Road and then up onto the Chilliwack Bench Road. Definitely time to air down. With all this heat that we're having, we are rocking 39 to 40 PSI, which is, it's a bit much. Nothing but views all the way across. And this is but a taste of what's to come. Right, Oakley? All right, well, we just finished airing down from a whopping 40 PSI to a much more smooth 24 PSI. Not a bad view here. We just stopped to uh, grab a few pictures of the mountains and uh, a few with the truck and the mountains in behind. So far, so good. A little dusty, I don't know. Luckily, there's, well, there's, I've only seen two other vehicles on this road in the last half an hour, so. Ah, Chipmunk Creek, here we go. Steep climb, off camber, rutted at the top. Oh man, that's just got, that's got damage written all over it. Maybe we can go this way. Up this side and down the other. Except I can't even see where I'm going is this yeah I don't like this Whew. completely blind well we're gonna just scoop back down the way we came I'm not gonna take the time to film this it's just a tiny little feature but uh, there was no good way back out either rutted off camber narrow or completely brushed over and I wasn't gonna go clear trail just to drive 20 feet hey well how's my boy Hmm? Oakley, speak! <laughs> Visiting Chipmunk FSR here. That we, uh, we came up here in part two of the Close to Home series, Chilliwack River Valley. I think we'll make it a little further today based on the fact that the snow level should be much higher. But it was a big washout full of snow and ice that, uh, that turned me around last time. So let's see how that's actually looking. Well, this doesn't look so bad when it's not veiled in a bunch of snow and ice. It's a little narrow. And I have to take it at a slight angle here to the left to avoid this rock. Kind of climb over that rock there. No reason in the world I wouldn't do that. Well, we made it through the water crossing. It wasn't as crazy as I thought it was gonna be based on what I saw last time. Yeah, a little less intimidating when you take away the snow and the ice. So hopefully the camera angle that I shot it from turned out pretty good. I've still got a lot to learn about angles. Well, hope you're enjoying what you see so far because I'm having fun. Probably hard to tell from the GoPro, um, but this road is just rut after rut and washout after washout. It, it, it's not brutal. It's just slow. And if I'm bouncing around a bit in a Honda Ridgeline, then you can be sure the so-called real trucks are really gonna be getting jittery. So if there's one thing the Ridgeline's got in spades, it's by far the best ride quality. It is a trade-off for capability, but 
as I tell people it's capable enough, it gets me where I want to go. So, let's go. That's a good, I don't know, 15 feet across and 6 inches deep. I say we go for it. I think we see our first traces of snow. Yeah, better stop and put the chains on. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a little peek at Shiam and Lady. We will keep on going up Shiam for a little bit, see how far we can make it towards the trailhead. Anybody watch my video on me getting stuck in the snow up at Sunday Summit a couple weeks back? Well, it was a little worse than this. And by stuck, I mean, I pulled off my traction boards, stuck them under the tires, and drove out. I got a rear hitch slider skid plate. So it looks like a bumper step on top, and it is. But down below, it's angled off ever so nice so that when those ditches are a little too steep, you catch on that instead of on your bumper, or in my case, instead of ruining yet another set of exhaust tips. The factory chrome kind of tips, long gone. Straight pipe, angled off at a 45, tucked in up against the bumper. Not so easily destroyed. It's hard to believe we hiked up that. I mean, there was no snow when we did it. Gosh, we darn it. We did it, and I don't even really have a lot of proof because it was so cloudy that day. Foggy. All right, this is where we get to the uh, harder part. That rear hitch step has been skidding a few times. Uh, last summer there was an epic double washout, kind of like this one actually. That uh, gave a lot of people a lot of problems, which I think this one might as well some two foot driving mm, I think we gotta back down and try it again yeah that's gonna be fun given how wet it is I think we could end up doing some damage here hmm I don't slide out into the wrong spot here. It is steep. Woohoo! One more try. Stop driving when safe. All-wheel drive temperature too hot. Oh, we just heated up the tranny. Okay, we got to find ourselves a safe spot. Pull over and let this thing cool down. Hmm. Every light on here is lit up like a Christmas tree. Well, that was an epic climb. See how she's going to go on the way down. This is, a, this is a pretty steep one. I'm actually quite surprised we made it given how off camber this is. I'm holding the phone level now, so you can see that this is going down at a you know 20, 25 degree angle. These ditches are for reals. I think I picked the only line that I'd even have an option with, so should be a lot easier going down, I'll tell you that. All right, we're rolling again. Brought the training temperature down from 251 down to 240. All the warning lights seem to have uh, settled down. I can't believe we made it up that stretch. I think this might be the end of it for us. Screenshot, 1210 meters. We're not making it to the trailhead.
Let's see how we do on the way down. Yeah, if they don't clean up that washout, that's going to uh, that's going to trip up most of the people trying to come up here, unless they're in a modified modified four x four and or have a lot of confidence and skill and willing to take a bit of damage. Probably gonna just slide down it because it's mud. All right, let's have ourselves a little look-see here. Oh, that's a better line. quick photo shoot here for you and a good opportunity for me to just thank you for hanging around and uh and watching the video she's running a little longer today we got a lot of content and i just didn't want to split it up i thought it would be better to just have an actual trip video like you know like everyone else does so thanks for hanging out and if you haven't hit that like button please do so and if you're not a subscriber we would sure appreciate your support Some nice views of Mount Shiam, a few other majestic peaks. We are back on the bench road, gonna make the little uh jaunt between Chipmunk and Mount Thurston. Should be there in five minutes or something like that. And then we climb a little ways again, find ourselves that epic camp spot that I not only marked on Gaia, but marked in my mind. And uh, let's go do it. left uh, a pretty big campsite I don't really want to take a big spot like that to myself or risk having a bunch of partiers show up but uh, we did get some really great shots with the Canon camera I think we're just about at uh, my proposed campsite let's see if it looks as good as I remember it's definitely as private as I remember. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Well, this is camp. It ain't much. A little background, some hills, a bit of a clearing in the trees. Nothing too spectacular, but it'll do. So I'm making a little bit of progress here. Not in too much of a hurry, just kind of piddling around, getting the stuff I needed out of my trunk. I don't like to cook on the tailgate or even prep or whatever, because then if I need something out of the trunk, I can't get to it too easily. So just a little basic aluminum camp table, nothing fancy. We're not cooking tonight, uh, everything's prepared. Tomorrow, Gabby will be cooking. We're gonna have ourselves a little campfire there while enjoying that for as long as the light will let us. Well, I guess there's no time like the present to uh, get this tent set up. It's been 10 months. I don't think I've ever done it by myself, but uh, how hard can it be? So as you can see, it's not exactly rocket science. Getting it done by myself, real time about five minutes. Here in the vid, well under a minute because I work much faster when I can use eight times uh, fast forward. So I do have a link to all this gear down in the description, but um, the tent there is a Doghouse Mesa four person tent purchased from Doghouse Tents out in Chilliwack on the same yard as Kit Equipment. Uh, go see Lee, he will take good care of you, great pricing. And unlike a lot of tents at these price points, this fabric is really thick and waterproof. Well, tonight's dinner, nothing fancy. We're digging deep into the cooler. We are having leftover salmon 
We're having beef jerky. We're having cheese. And at some point before too long, a rum and coke. Trying out my new chair for the first time. Got it at the uh, BC Outdoor Show in Vancouver about two months ago. Seemed too good a price to be true in a lifetime warranty. So what the heck? Anyway, this is camp. Trying to pack everything with a purpose. So this cooler was not needed as a cooler, so it's got all my dry goods in it. It's grizzly proof. There ain't no scent getting out. Tough as nails. Great way to store the dry stuff. Uh, gear tubs, they make a great side table. So you can be sitting around having your campfire and you got somewhere to put your s'mores, your rum and coke, and what have you. But it is dinner time. Oakley, let's go. It's time for dinner. Come here, buds. As we promised. Salmon salad. He loves that. Cheese slices. And I forgot the crackers, but we do have the beef jerky. Let's eat. So, it's chilling out with me and my dog. It's me and Oakley on this trip, right, buddy? Yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna go find Gabby. Yeah, where's Gabby? Until then, I'll just keep staring across at this and this. All right, Saturday morning, camp's all packed up. So we're gonna uh, head on over to Lindemann Lake, pick up Gabby, and then we will go do some paddle boarding and go cook ourselves a nice meal out in the bush. Talk to you soon. Well, this is the parking lot for the Lindemann Trailhead. I did end up hiking about halfway up there to meet them. Didn't think to take any video of the hike. I was just huffing and puffing and trying not to further damage my Achilles tendon. All right, I told you guys we were taking Gabby paddle boarding for her micro adventure assignment. So here we are at Chiliwack Lake. Well, friends, family, neighbors of Ridgeline Overlanding, we are rocking the paddle boards out here on gorgeous Chilliwack Lake. It's cold, but it's gorgeous. Do we like it? Oakley, you having fun? Speak. Looks like we got a couple of little creeks cascading down. Nice spot here on uh, Chipmunk FSR, looking out at the Chilliwack River. Gonna uh, make ourselves a little uh, late lunch. All right, we're back to a familiar spot here. This is our, uh, our backup campsite offering Stunning views all the way around, as you've seen before. We've deployed our awning and our table, and uh, Gabby's about to make us some wonderful dinner. Just waiting for the burner to heat up. All right, so food's well underway. We got ourselves some, some chicken going on here, I think, if I can do this. Uh-huh, yep. Been marinating for a couple of days and some chicken and rib barbecue sauce. Got our primary camp table there. Secondary camp table, also known as a tailgate. And dinner is served. Chicken, rice, a little cheese on the side. Delish. All right, guys, time to wind this thing on down. I tried to get you some nice footage of the drive home, but there was just way too much dust from everybody else out here enjoying the outdoors. Sometimes that's just the way she goes. So, guys, if you're not already getting out there, you know, hop in the truck, hop on your bike, paddleboard, whatever. Just get outside. I mean, it's it is the season. And none of us live so far away from beauty. It's all around us. So thank you for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. So until next time. And there will be a next time. Go play outside.